Good happy morning! It's Tuesday and I am gonna bring you another lunch idea for your uh, kitties. Ham steak. Now I know in my house nobody really likes ham, like the roast ham, but my little guy loves ham. He loves it. So ham steak. You can get it at most grocery stores in their um where you get like cold meat, hot dogs area. And it just comes like this and sometimes they're really big. And if you can get it on sale, stock up on lots because if you check the expiration, nine out of 10 times, you've got like this super long shelf life. Worth a look into. Anyway, so I'll show you what I do with this. So we're gonna take our knife. I'm just going to slice it open. back in time a little bit um, through Pampered Chef history if you are lucky enough to own either one of these products, either our fruit and cheese cutter set or our cookie cutter tin with all these fun shapes. Uh, either will work. So I'll show you uh, what I do. Now if I'm feeling really nice, I'll I'm always, no, no, I'm just joking. I'm always nice. <laughs> I will go and ask my son which shape he would like in his lunch today. Um, but we're early and busy. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna use today. We're gonna give him flowers. So we just take our shape or our, or our cookie cutter and we just rock it kind of back and forth like this. You might even want to give it a little twist just to, in case you're stuck on any spots and then you get this little ham flower which looks amazing in lunches and we'll just do that through the entire ham steak um this will last um you know usually two lunches or a lunch plus a chopped ham for like an omelet or something nothing goes to waste so i used to Think, well, why in the world would I do these beautiful shapes? I'd see everybody with their awesome shapes <laughs> and their meat and cheese. And um, no, I just chop up the little leftover bits and we use it elsewhere. So there you have it. Oh, do you want me to show you a different thing? How about, how about stars? A couple stars. So same idea. Give it a little bit of a wiggle and just push it out. Super fun and easy. And I mean, especially if, let's say for Valentine's Day, you do hearts, like, oh, so cute. Okay, and we're gonna do the same with cheese. Like I said, these little bits will not go to waste. We'll just chop those up and put them in a container for either ham cubes or omelet or something along those lines. For cheese, very similar. What we do is we figure out how much cheese we're going to need and then we will just cut off that amount. Okay, and we'll just put it away. And what I will do is lay this rectangle down on its side and gently do my best to cut it into three sections. Okay, and once you have your three sections, you can, well, I was going to put them back together and just do it in one shot, but it's probably easier just to do them one at a time. So much fun and again this leftover cheese is definitely not going to waste we'll just put this in a little container or maybe an omelet for breakfast tomorrow so that sounds yummy super cute let's see what else do we have oh some hearts hearts 
So just there you go guys, just another idea for your kids lunch. Any cookie cutters will do. If you don't have these sets, go to your local, your bulk food store. And you can find all kinds of teeny tiny little cutters in super cute little shapes for your little people. And better yet, bring your little people with you to pick out their own shapes. And uh, helpful hint, helpful hint, little tiny bits like this. I mean, this isn't bad, but avoid the ones with the little teeny tiny cutouts. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> all right, bye for now. Have a great Tuesday. See you later.